Hey guys, welcome to Music Monday, the place for your weekly music fix. My name, as always, is Carol Morris. I don't speak. Um, in this episode, I just want to point out that we're not sitting down again because it worked pretty well last week, even though it was rushed. And we can't find chess. And um, we can't find chess. Also, Reese is way taller than me now, you all know the secret's out. Yeah. yeah I mean, all the other videos that we've done, we've either been sitting down or not next to each other, yeah. so now they can finally realise how, how tiny I am in comparison to you. <laughs> so yes, um, obviously first is all unforgiving music news. <laughs> first news story today is that Courtney Love is not, she denies being in the new a uh, biographical movie about uh, Kirk Cobain, which if you remember we covered uh, many weeks ago. Um, it's going to be fun. Oh, it looks... Captain Kirk I don't know. <laughs> Spock, I need information <laughs> on music. No, uh, I, I, I guess it, it, it's going to be fun, but I'm so glad she's not in it because yeah. she's a crazy bitch. <laughs> she's such a crazy bitch and she has the potential to mess this movie up. Yeah. Just by, I guess, she can play Courtney Love towards the end of his life, because that's when she started being a crazy bitch. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, but they were thinking about maybe not her playing herself, maybe her playing like her mother or someone else in the movie. I was like, just keep her up a bit. Like, why even go there? Yeah. Like, that's, I'd rather them resurrect Kurt Cobain <laughs> and then put him in the movie as dead Kurt Cobain. Then how's he resurrected then? What? If he's dead, how's he resurrected? Well, you don't, you know, get, you want to ask him permission. Your life. What? You resurrected. So yeah, no, you resurrected him, and then a, a, a now a new alive Kurt Cobain can play the dead body. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, you have to resurrect him just for his permission. Right, for, for his music. <laughs> for, first, Matt will have, like, not like, so, do you want to get anyone to do music? So, can you play a dead body? Like, he seems just, like, dug me out. No, I don't know, because he'll be, like, really bad, because he's got nothing to do pretty depressed about anymore. He's a zombie. What? I mean, like, funk. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to think of a Nirvana song, but then I, I just completely blanked on everything. Oh, like, come do, 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 as you are, do, 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 as, as the funk. <laughs> no, funk as you are. Anyway, uh, next news story. The second news story is that Kiss are to release the Casablanca singles, uh, 1974 to 1982 box set. Basically, all the things they did with Casablanca, which is a studio if you didn't know, mm -hmm. they released all the songs. Big box set. This just shows how much songs Kiss have. <laughs> yeah. They're only releasing. Wait, let's the count. They're only releasing about give or take ten years of their work. So eight. Eight years now. Eight years of their work, and it fits in a massive box set. And they're still making music the now. The picture showing it is just massive. It's insane. They make way too many songs. And the worst thing is, right, so it's not track listings yet. Oh my god. Right, there's, um, twenty nine. Twenty nine songs. That's insane. Uh, any that I know? No? Jesus Christ. The track box of Dave Mode or whatever? Rock and Roll All Night. No, another Rock and Roll All Night. Oh, Jesus, how many times are they going to release Rock and Roll All Night? Like, there's nothing they can do with it. There's probably an operatic version of that song somewhere. That'd be awesome. Yeah. So, anyway, that is... Um, I <laughs> want to rock and roll all night. Because they did, a, they did like an operatic version of one of their songs, but it wasn't that. So yeah, um, that is um, music news. So, the discussion this week is going to relate to our recommends, which is coming in a minute, but do relatable do re relatability with bands, right. does that uh, make you more inclined to enjoy and listen to the band? So, for instance, um, do you... Uh, a big thing is if they're the same country as you. Yes. we're Wales. We don't... Uh, uh, apart from actors and uh, choirs, we don't really yeah. export that much media. Uh, so whenever I hear a band from Wales, I'm like, I'm instantly going to listen yeah. to them. Manic Street Preachers, didn't even care. They were awesome, but yeah, I, yeah. I would have listened to them even if they, if they were Dawson and Um This this comes to your recommend, which is coming a little later. Yeah. Do you feel it makes you want to listen to the band more? Yeah, I mean, it does. Because yeah, it's a whole like supporting your industry. Yeah. Another thing is when, um, I mean, you don't get this, but... If I guess it's sports with you, but if uh, if if a comic book writer because is in a band, I listen to that band. Usually they suck balls, yeah. <laughs> but but sometimes I'm like, yeah, all right, I'll listen to that. Um, I don't know any sportsmen that are in bands or anything. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Shane Williams is like, yeah, I'm finished with rugby. Yeah. Now I'm going to. Uh... Yeah, I think he's in Japan now. Is he? Yeah. Jesus. 
this. <laughs> this is the same like size of people. <laughs> oh no! Oh, uh, we don't have any Japanese watches anyway. Like in the case. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, tell us what you think about it in the comments. Do you, if you relate to a band, say they're from a country that you're from and your country doesn't export a lot of bands, or say they're the same religion as you, or the same ethnicity, I don't know if there's any ethnicity that they just don't have any bands before. <laughs> but, side note, there are bands that, if they're from your country, that you still won't like because their music sucks. Yeah. They're like... Lost Profits won't go you. I, I like Lost Profits, but I understand they are... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, they're a good band. Just to keep you on your seat waiting, considering we're talking about reasons to recommend all episodes, I'm going to recommend a band first. Uh, not really a band, I'm recommending a musical YouTuber. His name is Keith Davis, uh, there will be a link to him in the description. If there's not, message me that I'm a turd and I will put it. It's such a weird insult, but anyway. <laughs> uh, and, and you like, and you know what they're on about now, but yeah. you're a turd. <laughs> Oh no, I forgot! <laughs> so yeah, um, uh, I will I'll put him in the description. He is basically an acoustic, uh, ukulele player who sings. He's awesome. Um, he's, he doesn't really get that many views. He does covers of songs, right, this is going to sound weird. He does covers of, of songs from cartoons and does them like really like James Mrazi, right. Jason Morrison ish if you know what I mean. Right. He yeah. plays ukulele and most so of his you, videos are filmed. Do you mix the uh, first names up? Is it? Yeah. Jason Mraz and... I said James Mraz. Yeah. <laughs> um, but all his, most of his videos come from his closet. So it's really weird. It's really, a really funny perky thing. And he has like other people to come in and do harmonising with him. And sometimes he plays keyboard. Right. Pretty cool. Uh, give him a listen. Now, Reese, who do you recommend today? I recommend him Masters in France. We talked about him a little bit uh, last episode. We were like, skipping yeah, yeah. over them. But we're not French. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, as as we've been alluded to all episodes, they're actually a Welsh band. Um, they you, you probably know them from the IKEA advert. Because uh, everyone's seen the IKEA advert. There's a lot of people. I haven't seen it yet. Right, it's basically <laughs> people setting up a table for dinner, and there's a lot of weird, oversized animals and cartoon characters I've seen it. like <laughs> He-Man in an Iron Man suit. Fair enough. It looks exactly like an Iron Man suit, like painted on him. But anyway, um, that's what I like about them is that. Um, a lot of their songs are like kind of unique from one another. Uh, she said like playing with my friends, quite a funky one, and then Mad Hatter is kind of all the rock yeah, yeah. kind of thing. Um, a theme that runs through them all though is that they really are batshit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we got a repeat of um, uh, fucking El Camino. Oh, it's the band Blackies. Yeah. We got a repeat of Blackies for all their videos. Like they do. Bit well, well the, uh, this, this takes up a level, I think. Because the thing about the Blackies is they do not own videos, they're like, ah, that's not weird enough, yeah. so they redo the videos. <laughs> so, Keith and the Elephant, um, they do that too. Like, uh, one video, Mad Hatter, is about a girl who is, like, too ugly to kill a guy, so she kidnaps them. <laughs> so, it's and like, then, um, what's that movie where the woman, the, the girl, kills the bunny? Oh, I don't know. But, like, it's, it's so weird, and it's one of them, um, where a giant bunny wants to go on holiday <laughs> and he goes to, through I think I saw a bit of that where he's got like a giant bunny head yeah and he, he goes to all, the, all the members of the band and asks if they want to go on holiday and they're like no we don't want to go on holiday <laughs> and then finally they go on holiday <laughs> spoilers <laughs> <laughs> but it ends with him on the beach and then like a girl bunny comes and has like, <laughs> carrots and carrot juice and just puts it down he's like oh yeah this is so weird so yeah that's Reese's fun you never fail to impress people with your videos. <laughs> bands. Which is funny because you're not even like into weird bands, you just kind of fall no. into weird bands. No, it's, uh, it's not the fact that they're weird bands because the, the music is pretty... They've got a weird director. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty like, kind of, I wouldn't say it normal, but kind of an insane music. Yeah. It's pretty cool. They, 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 cool so listen to Massive Fans, uh, listen to Keith Davis if you like cartoon songs and ukulele and... James Moraz. <laughs> James Moraz and Jason Morrison. Yeah, um, so yeah, we will see you in a bit. And remember to find that good music, listen to that good music, and then get inspired by that good music and play more good music. And then have people listen to that good music and, and get advice on what you're doing wrong. And, and then improve upon. Yeah. Go on, go on. <laughs> good night, everybody. Oh, he's like an eight baby. Oh,
Yeah. I think we just got a blooper. <laughs> <laughs> Done.